what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we need to talk about a couple different topics in this video here today we're going to be talking about halloween ends jeepers creepers 4 the x universe and then the strangers three four and five so just to start off with halloween ends halloween ends has released three new images from the total film magazine issue that's coming out later this week and david gordon green shared an interesting quote about michael myers for your absence so these three images from what i'm going to assume are all michael myers you're seeing them come across your screen but probably after he has taken out corey most likely one shows him and laurie brawling and the other shows michael staring down the hall at something with another then showing him coming down the stairs ready to stab the hell out of somebody so these are some pretty cool images green also addressed that the four-year absence won't outright be explained and i'm going to do a separate video for that also today we learned john carpenter's score for the film will release digitally on october 14th and there's some interesting track titles that might be telling us a few of the specific plot events that could occur in halloween ends the entire track list was revealed again and it confirmed the leak list that came earlier this month or last month so do you think that these new images are actually michael myers or do you think that they are Corey cunningham uh again a part of me is saying that maybe one out of the three is michael myers and then the other two are somehow Corey cunningham but all three of these could indeed be michael myers it's just of course we know that going off of these images they seem to be going out of their way to purposely hide the hands and the fingers <laughs> that this person has uh, i feel like they're they're playing it up the is this is this or isn't it even though they, they again haven't outright said anything about a copycat killer this is all going off of assumptions from piecing together the trailer the plot details and certain signs that point towards things that would not be michael myers because michael myers doesn't have a ring on his favorite finger so we'll see what ends up happening ultimately with halloween ends when it releases um later this year in october on the 14th i think it also was announced it's supposed to have a, a premiere world premiere at beyond fest so that's exciting but just to jump into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 is releasing next monday for you know that three night fathom event on the 19th 20th and the 21st so i don't think you'll have another video about that anymore from me singularly till monday so i was sent an image of the creeper from the movie and it's the best image i've seen in a while despite the blurriness you see here on your screen shout out to you you know who you are you sent it to me i just can't think of your name right now you sent it to me over on ig i still am not a fan of this look still but this somewhat finalized look doesn't look that horrendous to me it really doesn't the complete context on monday will of course make or break the look for all of us anyway so staying open-minded about the look of the creeper until i see the movie for myself on monday and again that same night i'll have a review up most likely i'm going to say this will be spoiler filled because i'm expecting a lot of you when you tune into the review to have seen it or you might be just some people who don't care but uh and i also think that some people are going to get to see this movie early from what i was made aware of something should be happening tomorrow on the 14th for an early screening and this is just a small other tidbit from a person who has already seen the movie and those of you who follow me on twitter you probably already know who i'm talking about because they put up that review i put up an image of their review on my instagram instagram page and story because i thought it was funny but uh they were telling me about a cameo that's been hidden so if you don't want to know who this person is you don't want to keep listening right now uh click off for the stream i guess for the next couple of seconds and then come back but uh ray wise appeared at the end of the movie i'm told to battle the creeper again so we'll see if this actually plays out on monday ray wise appeared in the movie as jack taggart apparently in jeepers creepers reborn now this makes sense to me only because i was starting to think like you know a lot of that with the creeper waking up in the barn as we see in the trailer and then the post puncher being shown why would none of the taggart show up at all in the movie even if you had to recast the character narratively i just don't think it would make sense for taggart to not show up he wouldn't just go the whole day not trying to track this thing down so it's nice to hear that he apparently appeared in the movie so we'll see if it's true on monday night now jumping into x so director ti west at the toronto film festival had announced to viewers at midnight madness premiere of pearl that there will be a third installment in this franchise that began with x earlier this year uh which you know starred kid cuddy and uh britney snow jenna ortega uh, so and mia goth deadline reported this that there was going to be a third movie that will be called maxine mia goth will be back reprising her role as maxine uh one of the two roles we know that she played in x and then it's supposed to follow maxine after the events of x as the sole survivor 
survivor who continues her journey towards fame, setting out to make it as an actress in 1980s Los Angeles. It all stems from X, which launched Goth as a survivor of a porn shoot that goes awry when there's hosting when they're hosting Real Texas, see what they're doing, and the cast and crew end up fighting for their lives. Wes West also or West wrote this upcoming script. I love the X universe so far. Pearl is what we're gonna be getting this week. I haven't seen Pearl yet. I'll have a review up for when I see it later this week. And I can't wait to see the sequel to X and Pearl with Maxine and see how they close this trilogy out. Just to jump into this last topic here related to the strangers. So Lionsgate has announced today that it has begun production on the strangers, what I'll call a relaunch, set to be a trilogy of films. Now Roy Lee had informed us of this occurring last month and now we see it's going according to plan. Rennie Harlan, who I talked about in another separate video, is directing he has directed Deep Blue Sea and Nightmare on Elm Street 4 if you want some tidbits on who you might be familiar with him from or what you might be familiar with him from. He's directing the whole trilogy from what I gathered in the report. Uh, Madeleine Pesch, I, I think I mispronounced her last name, but she is from Riverdale. Uh, Gabe, Gabe Basso and then Freud Gutierrez will star in these films. The story follows... Pesci's character, I'll just say Cheryl Blossom. She's Cheryl Blossom. Cheryl Blossom's character as she drives cross country with her longtime boyfriend to begin a new life in the Pacific Northwest. When their car breaks down in Venus, Oregon, they're forced to spend the night in a secluded Airbnb where they are terrorized from dusk till dawn by three masked strangers. Lionsgate plans from there to expanding the story in a new and unexpected ways with the sequels. Alan R. Cohen and Alan Friedland are writing this trilogy. This doesn't sound like a remake the way I saw a lot of reports claiming, but more of a separate story, perhaps set in the same world. And if not that, just an entire reboot, which I'm not against. Because again, they killed off Baghead at the end of the second movie after I know, yes, there was an ending where they were going to reveal he had been made alive or survived all that. But ultimately, it's more realistic. Just let those three die, I guess. You can undo the ending, but I'd rather you not and just set it in the same world. Or it doesn't even have to be set in the same world. I'm fine with a reboot. So are you guys excited for these this upcoming Stranger Trilogy? Are you excited about any of this stuff I had to say in this video? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and you miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.